Apart from stalls under sustainability, what else are you doing? Srinidhi, have you seen the movie Padma? Oh yeah. Action? Yeah. So what is the message in the movie? It's about a man trying to improve sustainable menstruation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So under sustainability, the latest initiative, initiative that I have been is, is the drive that I have been uh, having since six months uh, to transform the menstrual habits of women in the sense to break the traditional methods and move into sustainable menstruation because there is a lot of landfills that happens due to plastic pads. So every month I have a webinar, it's fixed every month. So we've had eight webinars so far on, uh, so we talk a lot about the sustainable options under. You know, there's a big myth in our society. It's very difficult to break that. So that is why it's a continuous affair. That's, that's really great. I would maybe like to join that. Yeah, yeah, you so must. Next yes. webinar, I'm going to share the link for to you. Sure, <laughs> for sure. uh, what alternative options are you promoting through these webinars? Okay, uh, the alternates for the current use that is plastic pads that I have been promoting is one is the reusable cloth pads, you know, which we all mm -hmm. use to use. Yeah. Once one. The other is the menstrual cup, mm -hmm. which is 100% biodegradable, compostable mm -hmm. and very safe. And above all this, it's very, very cheap. In the sense, the life of a cup is 10 years mm -hmm. and it costs anything between 300 to 800 rupees. Okay. So, and this is not known to most of us. Yeah. Some of the doctors also, gynecology also, don't know about it. So, mm -hmm. by through these sessions, we are giving them alternate options. Mm -hmm. That's so that they are not only economical for uh, the women, plus they are eco friendly. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how exactly is the response from women around whoever is attending? Uh, response is slow because down south here, compared to Bangalore and other cities, you know, the barrier is bigger. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. There's a lot of uh, yeah. myth behind the using them. Mm. So, but however, we've had a good amount, good number of ladies joining this program, and they come up with a lot of questions. So, what other market alternatives are you promoting through these webinars? Okay, uh, there are various options. Uh, mainly, I'm focusing at two. One is the reusable cloth pads, mm -hmm. washed and used. The other that I'm promoting most strongly, mainly in the married women, is a menstrual cup, which is made of 100% silica, medical grade mm. silica, which is 100% biodegradable because the plastic pads are a big danger. Danger to us and danger to environment because it takes almost around 300 to even six, seven, 800 years to decompose in the soil. So just imagine each of us how much we contribute mm. towards the damage we cause. Mm. So, and it's also very economical because one cup can cost between 300 to 800 rupees and the life is like 10 years. It's reused, used till 10 years. Easy to carry, economical, yeah. and very easy on the planet. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm promoting these two. Really. That's really good to know. Maybe I'll change my ways as well. Yeah, you must. I'll yeah. invite you for the next webinar. Yes, yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And how has the response from all the women audience been? It's not been very great. Initially we had, uh, but you know how it is. Yeah, right? There's a big myth in the society yes. on switching from those practices. Mm -hmm. However, we've still had responses. And they ask a lot of questions, mm -hmm. which are the reasons to their uh, those inhibitions. Mm -hmm. uh, these webinars have really helped many of them to switch. So even my own group members, quite a few members have switched into sustainable menstruation. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason I'm doing this drive. Every month, compulsory one webinar I have. So we've had like eight webinars. Mm -hmm. And planning. I'm also promoting those products. So you can even connect with me to not only know, but also to obtain those. Good to know. And how do you think whatever you're promoting are better from whatever we have right now? As I just mentioned, mm. uh, there is no comparison. Okay. Cost-wise, there is no comparison. Benefits in terms of for our health, on us, on the skin, uh, hygiene-wise, and more importantly, environment-wise. Mm. Because I said 10 years is the life of one yeah. cup which is reused and it is made of medical grade silica so it's 100% biodegradable, compostable. So as against the plastic, there is no comparison at all. That's the reason I'm doing this drive. Yeah, it's good to know but uh, from the observations I've made, the generation now is also leaning towards the biodegradable yes, yes, yes. products. Yes. Mm. Because they are better aware, yes. yeah. they are more aware there. Yeah.
Srinidhi, do you have any idea how many years a plastic pad remains in the soil? Take a guess. Maybe a hundred years? No, it's around 700 to 800 years. Show me something else. What is this? A plastic toothbrush. And how often do you use your brush? Change your brush. Four or five times a year. Yeah, which means all of us are sending four to five brushes each year into soil. Mm -hmm. Just imagine the damage we are causing to earth, yeah. right? But you have a choice. Mm -hmm. Now, 